Okay. <laughs> okay. If you guys thought I was a nostalgic nerd for Sonic Mania, you ain't seen nothing yet. Tie the Tasmanian Tiger. I imagine nobody knows what this game is. As far as I've ever been able to tell, I have never heard of people talking about Ty. So, I imagine nobody's gonna give a flying fuck about this game. But this was my childhood. What this is, from memory, this is basically a Grand Theft Auto for preschoolers. You've got your cartoony tiger who's an Australian stereotype. You've got cool music playing, and uh, you're just shooting up anyone who disrespects you. That's basically what this game is. There's a story about genetic research something something. We'll see it as we go along. Um, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna try a different method of recording this time. I'm gonna be recording in long sessions. And then I'll cut it up into smaller videos. What I've been doing lately is I record a single video and then I'm done recording for the day. But that that's pretty hard to keep up because like... It, it, it's hard for me to get myself in the mood to do a thing like that. But while I'm in the mood, I can like record let's say five episodes of this all at once. And I'll just cut it up. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, anyone who's new to the channel... Welcome, board. Hope you enjoy. We're gonna hop right in now. I'm playing with a, with a keyboard, but I do have a GameCube controller adapter, so I may consider switching to that. We will see. If I enjoy the keyboard, we'll stick with the keyboard. Yeah, yeah. Autosave. <sighs> By the way, the reason I'm playing this is because it got remastered. And it doesn't look as good as I was hoping. Oh god. <laughs> it doesn't look awesome. Oh god. I feel like I'm watching a kid's show. Sorry, I'm gagging a little bit. Time, mate. You took your time. The little country town of Karawong is under attack. I thought he said the C word, no, and I was confused. This. The local security is in the thick of it. One of their mates is holed up at the old barracks. Oh, this is shocker out there. Frills have breached the northern river. Oh god, he has two oh, mouths. Yes. They all have two <laughs> mouths. If we follow this road, it'll take us up to the old barracks. Okay, let's go. Okay. Okay. Hi, mate. What oh. are you doing? Okay, sorry, I went the wrong direction. Um. Okay, let me just get used to my controls. So, if ever there was a game that might have turned me into a furry, it would have been this one. If not Sonic. Because everyone is just a very anthropomorphized animal. Let's see if I can talk to people. What button should I press? E. No. You right click bites, left click throws my boomerangs. How do I talk to you? Well, we'll just we'll carry on. Alright, yeah, throw with left mouse button. Oh god, okay, so I emulated this game. Those things like look like flying dog shit. Okay. Ordinarily, I would only continue a series for a long period of time if, like, it does well. But for two reasons. First of all, I am a very small channel, and no one's gonna give a fuck about this game, but I love this game, so I don't give a fuck what the ratings are. I'm just gonna play 100% this game on camera, and you guys don't have a say. Sorry. Enjoy. Not gonna make any promises about a regular upload schedule, but hopefully with 
that new recording style that I mentioned earlier, things will be more reliable than they have been. But, you know, not a single person checked out Everlasting Summer, so I'm not really, I'm not likely to finish that. What, what's with the green arrow? What do I do? That's the last of the frills, possum. Oh the god, the audio. Out. Let's go. You can tell that the audio is part of the ambience and not coming from the character themselves. Oh, fucker. Don't punch me. Look at these. They're... I remember them looking a lot more intimidating to me as a child. But look at these nerdy little lizards. L let's see if I can get a get a close up view of him. Uh, fuck! I can't get up there. Okay. Well, I'm hurting myself, so let's. I'll I'll try to edit it in there. Something co comedic. What the hell's with the change in music? Did I find a secret? I know I can kill you. Okay, I guess that's just a normal change in the music. Okay, that's it. I'm not killing myself for a few pennies. In fact, I need to be a badass right now or I'm gonna die. Let me at him. Oh! Shit! That's not fair! Fuck you, that's not fair at all. But I'm pretty sure there are no consequences to death in this game. Yeah, in fact, the game seems to not even acknowledge that I've died. Not too far to the old barracks now. If you guys hear any weird noises, sorry, my allergies are acting up. Look at this line battle going on here. I feel like I'm in the Civil War. Which I guess is kinda what's going on. Possum, we have to get to the other side of the bridge. See that battle bunny? Maybe you can use it to clear the debris blocking the path. So a battle bunyip is what those are called. And they're basically power armor. Yeah, sorry, this isn't exactly God of War gameplay, but it's what we it's what I own. Let's take a look at this thing's design for a minute. You got a weird little goofy face. You got... Yeah, that's basically it. And you're sitting up there in your little cockpit. It's nice. I like it. Oh, I can punch them. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's got a little hover mechanic. Cool. We have to keep moving. The old barracks are just ahead. Come on, Blossom. We have to make it to the old barracks. Right, yeah, you can knock the cars out of your way. So I'm basically just a chainsaw of death for these lizards. For these dorky looking lizards. And if you see them doing those backflips through the air, they're trying to latch themselves onto my machine so that they can break it. You can actually carry like a good 10 or 20 of them around like that. 
And it looks pretty ridiculous, but they do damage to you, so I'm not gonna fuck with that. Oh, right. This is the most fucking metal scene in anything for 10-year-old me. And you'll see in just a minute. That, that guy. He's fighting fucking Metal Gears. These things were the stuff of my nightmares as a child. They just shoot their laser beams and blow you up. And then this guy dies like a fucking me? champ. Don't worry about me! <laughs> There's a battle mortar in the old barracks. It's the only thing that can defend the ground troops from those demon fluffies! I'm there! <coughs> you little beauty! Fucking sad music playing as a koala dies. I don't know what the fuck this game is. Okay, having a keyboard really trivializes those. Let's see if I can do any damage to you. By the way, yes, they're called Demon Fluffies, and the reason they're called that is because, uh... No, I can't do any damage to you. But look at that fucking... Mecha. That fucking... What do I want to call you? I feel like... You're from Mech Warrior. Or something. What What's a Mech show that I can... Honestly, I haven't watched enough anime yet to say. I I'm too into the moe. I'm not watching enough fight fighting bullshit. Anyway, here let let's do it. Yeah, so this is this is it. You get to fucking launch. Sorry about the swears, by the way. I I said I'd try to fix it. Yeah, that's right. Watch it, Ty! The dropships are onto you! Right, dropships. Where are they? Oh, right, I've got a little mini map. So, those little dropships looked like flying garbage in the emulated version of this. But, uh, they drop bombs on you. So this is like managing the demon fluffies with the dropships. And the first one was the weakest. All these ones are much stronger. I still can't believe, like, a thing like this happened. These only take one hit, so not so bad. Oh, shit, that got really close. Oh, I actually took damage. Oh, if I hit the head, I actually do dam double damage, so that's a thing. But like, honestly, for a little kid, this is like, the biggest thing in the world. Shooting down battleships in the middle of a civil war. That's taken care of those demon fluffies, possum! Why do you call them What's demon that? fluffies? Right, I remember. This is why they call them demon fluffies, because of this girl. The rhino. She's a fucking. Her name is Fluffy. Shivers. Fluffy. That gate leads to the old jail. Where Boss Cass is being held prisoner. It's been a diversion for a jailbreak. Not if I can help it. I'll take care of it, Shaz. <laughs> so here's what's going on. You've got game. The first game. There's a character named Boss Cass, and he's the big bad guy. His goal to take over the world is to make a big battleship that drops bombs on everything or something like that. I don't quite remember. Anyway, he, he uh, banished Ty's parents to the Shadow Realm, basically. 
and Ty set his parents free from the Shadow Realm by defeating Boss Cass and unlocking the seven Chaos Emeralds or whatever to summon a dragon with. And after that happened, uh, Boss Cass was put in prison. And now he's being broken out of prison by Fluffy. Thank you!